And this last, it's almost the last step, this business of cutting out our circles. See, that's starting to look really familiar. We can see our, our uh, cut marks there in the uh, overlay. This last part is definitely, oh, probably the, uh, the most tedious part to do. And I'm using these, uh, these cuticle scissors here because they have a rounded edge and they work quite well for cutting circles. And this is really the, the thing that, where you end up having to do this by hand because as I said, I couldn't come up with any kind of a manufactured hole punch or a stamp that could cut through this acetate. So <clears throat> here we go. We're gonna be cutting out seven circles using these scissors. Okay, so here we have our uh, hole cut out for the master volume. Okay, so we finished cutting all of the uh, the holes out, cut all the circles out, and basically we're just about finished. The, the one last thing we need to do is to round these corners. If you look at the original, you'll see that they're rounded corners. And we're going to use our same scissors that we used for cutting the uh, circles just around each of these corners off and there we have it finished and I'll probably take a still photograph uh, for you so you can see this so uh, again what was uh, tools that we needed we used uh, an exacto uh, knife with a fresh uh, number 11 blade at a metal straight edge uh, scissors with the rounded corner these are almost critical because it's tricky to cut the, all those little uh, circles out. And then I use some tape to hold everything down. And we now have a nice uh, replacement control panel overlay that when you uh, put it on a guitar is really going to make it look uh, so much better. Factory fresh.